Liverpool is home to one of Britain's biggest industrial heritages. Like much of the north of England, Liverpool has its roots in the Industrial Revolution when it became a major port. This made it a hub for diversity and culture as people from all over the world travelled into England via Liverpool. The city is a haven for music lovers, having created Mersey Beat, a style of music that produced the Beatles, the Who, and the Kinks. Liverpool is considered to be a capital of culture in both England and Europe, with numerous art galleries, museums, and vibrant nightlife. So, here is the list of the 15 best things to do in Liverpool, United Kingdom. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Royal Albert Dock. When you visit Liverpool, it's basically a mandatory stop that you head down to the waterfront to explore the Royal Albert Dock. The dock is a true hub in Liverpool that dates back quite a way. This historic dockland was first opened in 1846 and was one of the first in Britain to be built of cast iron, brick, and stone, and not wood. Fast forward to the present days and the dock is now where you'll find tons of things to do. The dock area is home to the Merseyside Maritime Museum, Tate Liverpool, and the Beatles story, not to mention a plethora of restaurants, shops, and cafes to enjoy. You'll find plenty of seasonal attractions down here as well like food trucks and small carnival rides in the summer. Number 2. The Beatles Story. Liverpool is home to the Beatles and there are plenty of ways for fans to indulge in some Beatlemania. One of the most popular things to do in Liverpool is to go to the Beatles story for a journey through the band's meteoric rise to stardom, including loads of memorabilia and an audio tour that takes you deep into the Fab Four's lives. Or head to the Cavern Club where the band played nearly 300 times. It's also hosted plenty of other stars, and there's live music every day. And if you're a die-hard fan, jump on the Magical Mystery Bus for a tour of the band's old haunts, from the houses they grew up into the places that inspired their music, including Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields. Number 3. World Museum. Liverpool's World Museum takes visitors on a trip around the globe and even into outer space. The museum houses a huge range of artifacts and exhibitions, including a natural history collection with over a million specimens of animals, plants, fungi, and rocks. It has an extensive collection of ancient artifacts from the Egyptian, Greek, and Roman eras, as well as historic items from Asia, Africa, and the Americas. The museum also has a fascinating collection of scientific instruments. Don't miss out on the World Museum during your trip to Liverpool. Number 4. Tate Liverpool. As a sister gallery to the other Tates in both London and Cornwall, Tate Liverpool is a beautiful space housing some beautiful art pieces from the Tate Collection. Located on the waterfront in Liverpool in what used to be a warehouse, Tate Liverpool was designed by James Sterling and opened in 1988. Within the space, you'll discover the National British Collection of Art from the year 1500 to the present day as well as modern art. In addition to the incredible collection, there are also temporary exhibits that change throughout the year. And the space has been known to hold live music events too. Number 5. Liverpool Cathedral. As Britain's largest cathedral and the fifth largest in the whole of Europe, Liverpool's cathedral is nothing short of impressive. Taking up nearly a whole street, this is a must-visit spot even if just to witness the beautiful interior and exterior. This neo-Gothic building was opened in 1978 and designed by the same architect who created the iconic red telephone boxes you see all over the United Kingdom. The cathedral has free entry so you really have no excuse not to wander through the beautiful building with its high ceilings and stunning stained glass. For a small fee, visitors can climb the tower and get some stunning views over the city too. 
Number 6. Famous Cavern Club. Opened in 1957, the Cavern Club was originally just a small-time jazz bar. It was only in the early 1960s that it transitioned into the famous bar that it is today. The Cavern Club even hosted the Beatles for the first time in 1961, and it was here that this group of young men augmented their status as the biggest band of the century. Performing 292 times on its stage, the Beatles cemented the Cavern Club's legacy forever. The Cavern Club is a piece of history in itself, having once been a fruit warehouse and a former air raid shelter. Today, this is one of the best places to visit in Liverpool to enjoy good food, great beer, and a great atmosphere. Number 7. Museum of Liverpool. The Museum of Liverpool is the city's newest museum and explores the cultural significance and history of Liverpool and its people. The museum's collections feature a variety of culturally important items such as fashion, decor and art, archaeological items, and photographs. Liverpool is examined through its importance as a port and a gateway for diverse communities into England, as well as its impact on industry, music, and art. The museum celebrates the city's strong sense of identity and place in the world through interesting exhibits and interactive, family-friendly resources. The Museum of Liverpool provides an insightful and absorbing journey through the history of the city and its multicultural people. Number 8. Walker Art Gallery. Located in the beautiful area of St. George's Quarter, the Walker Art Gallery houses one of the largest art collections outside of London. As another place to visit with free entry in Liverpool, this is a mecca of all things paintings, decorative arts, and sculptures. In the gallery, you'll find incredible pieces from classic Monet to 20th century modern art and even contemporary art. Known as the National Gallery of the North this place is full of incredible pieces curated from around the world and close to home, Liverpool, and is well worth the visit. Number 9. Nosley Safari. A trip to Nosley Safari Park offers visitors a safari experience in the north of England. With over five miles of driving trails as well as foot trails, Nosley is a great day out for the whole family. See some of the most magnificent animals from around the world including lions and tigers, giraffes, white rhinos, and bongos. For a really special encounter, visitors can take part in an animal experience and help the team at feeding time. Nosley also has other fun attractions including a small railway and rides for younger children. Number 10. Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral. The Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral is the city's second cathedral, having been built in 1967. This cathedral is nicknamed the Catholic Cathedral to distinguish it from the Anglican Liverpool Cathedral. The cathedral is the largest Catholic cathedral in Britain and serves the vast Catholic community in Liverpool. The Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral has a distinctive circular design and unique structure, making use of both modern shapes and traditional features such as stained glass windows. Inside, the altar is located at the center of the building and curved pews allow excellent views of the gorgeous stained glass panels above. Pair your visit to the cathedral with a tour of the Lutyens crypt which features two halls and chapels as well as a treasury. Number 11. St. George's Hall. The facade of St. George's Hall on Brown Street is festooned with Corinthian columns and statues. Its sumptuously decorated Great Hall, boasting one of the world's largest organs, is often used for concerts. To the rear of the building, the splendid St. John's Gardens feature statues of prominent Liverpudlians. The nearby Polytechnic building is part of an imposing group of Neo-Greek buildings that include the William Brown Library, the Picton Reading Rooms, and the Hornby Library. Also of interest is the impressive Bluecoat Chambers, built as a charitable school in 1717 and the city centre's oldest building. Somewhat newer but worth a visit is Radio City Tower. Also referred to as St. John's Beacon, this observation tower offers superb views over the city. Number 12. Sefton Park. 
Sefton Park is one of Liverpool's largest public parks and a favourite amongst locals. It consists of 235 acres of parkland and a number of historic features. These include the Palm House, a conservatory built in 1896 to showcase exotic plants. Visit the Palm House to see a number of historic statues and gorgeous architecture. In addition, Sefton Park features a Victorian band that stands considered to be the inspiration for the Beatles song Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Come to Sefton Park for a relaxing day in the park, or to attend one of the many regular events held here. Number 13. Merseyside Maritime Museum. The Maritime Museum in Liverpool is home to numerous fascinating exhibitions about the many thousands of emigrants who left Britain via the Mersey for North America between 1830 and 1930. The museum also boasts an impressive collection of artefacts related to seafaring in Liverpool, stretching back in time as far as its establishment as a fishing port in the 13th century. This rich history is illustrated with model ships, workshops, and historic vessels. Equally fascinating are exhibits relating to the stories of the Titanic and Lusitania, two of the most famous, and tragic, passenger vessels in history. Number 14. Liverpool One. A trip to Liverpool is incomplete without stopping by Liverpool One. This large shopping complex is at the heart of Liverpool's city centre and holds all of the most popular chain stores and entertainment facilities. Complete with a cinema, adventure golf, and even two hotels, Liverpool One is the largest open-air shopping centre in the UK. Liverpool One consists of six districts, providing street markets, fashion, department stores, restaurants, and more. Liverpool One is easy to access with excellent transport links and the perfect way to spend a day in the bustling centre of Liverpool. Number 15. Chinatown. Liverpool's Chinatown is home to Europe's oldest Chinese community as well as an impressive range of Chinese businesses, eateries, and facilities. Enter through the Chinatown Gate, an unmissable arch that is the largest of its kind outside of China and originally built in Shanghai, a city that is twinned with Liverpool. The streets here are named in both English and Chinese and decorated with beautiful lanterns. Grab a bite to eat here to experience some authentic East Asian food. Try North Garden for delicious food that's popular with the locals. Or if you want to cook your own, stop by Changhua Supermarket to pick up some fresh produce and Chinese specialties. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Liverpool. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. The city was once one of the most important trading ports in the world. It benefited heavily from international trade and was considered one of the jewels of industrial era Britain, trading in goods from the colonies. The extravagant constructions on the city's waterfront attest to its affluent past. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripa is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.